Let's take a look at the iPad coding app called Hopscotch, which is available for free to download through the Apple App Store. I'm going to tap into the Hopscotch app. You will need an account to use Hopscotch. It is all free. If you need your parents' help or an email address, make sure you ask for it. After you get logged in, you're going to tap the Create button at the bottom with the plus sign. There are project starters in here on the right side where it says Build a Game. That's a good place to go to learn and see videos on how to use Hopscotch. And also, it's a great place to get ideas for what you can use to create your own project. When it comes time to actually build your team's coding project for the coding contest, however, you will need to start from a blank project. In a blank project, you can tap the plus sign at the bottom to add elements to your project. Elements can consist of characters, shapes, words, your own pictures, or anything else that's included here. So let's add a couple elements to our project. Here's a tree. And let's also add a monkey. All right. Let's say I wanted to code the monkey to walk to the tree and climb up it. That's just one little idea for something we can code here. Obviously, you can create whatever you want. You can create a little scene, a movie, cartoon kind of thing like that. Maybe you create a game. Or maybe you come up with something completely different that is all your own. It's completely up to you and your team to be as creative as you want. So let's go ahead and add some code to the monkey. I'll tap the plus add code next to monkey. And let's say when I tap... So when blank is tapped, when monkey is tapped, and now I need to tell the monkey what to do. I'll tap in this code space here in the middle. And I want him to move forward by 100 probably won't be enough. Let's try 300. That's just determining the amount of space that the monkey is going to move forward. So let's hit play now in the upper corner to see if 300 is enough. I'll tap the monkey because that's what my code said. 300 wasn't quite enough. I think we may need to do 600. Look like about half as far as he needs to go. So let's change that 300 to 600. And done. Play. The code says when I tap the monkey now, he should walk 600. And almost. Let's go with 625. That should be perfect. With coding, you'll notice that there's a lot of kind of guess and check, and you'll be learning from your mistakes a lot. That's what it's all about. Now, let's see if 625 is the perfect number. Okay, looks pretty good. Now we can have the monkey climbing up the tree. So we're going to add more to our monkey code here. So when the monkey's tapped, he's going to move forward 625. But now I want him to... Let's go with... iPad, collisions... There we go. I need him to change his Y position. Change Y is how you make things go up and down. And he's going to climb by 300. Done. So let's hit play. I'll tap the monkey to make him walk to the tree, and he's going to climb up by 300. That looks pretty good. So the monkey was able to walk to the tree and climb up it with just a couple lines of code. Now, if I were to continue this project, maybe I would have new characters. Maybe I would have the monkey keep making sounds or go back down and say something, and maybe the characters could talk. Maybe I can have a game where I tap coconuts from the tree to make them fall, and he can collect them and put them in a basket or something like that. It's completely up to you. This is just one little example to show you the basics of getting started here in the Hopscotch app for iPad. So enjoy. Hopefully you can find some good inspiration and get started with your own project.